Yo, welcome to the Q Reyes Project. This is Q Reyes coming at you once again. And I wanna know something. I wanna know, I'm Mick Mills right now. I wanna know, why are the writers of Straight Outta Compton white? Now look, I don't wanna make it a racial issue, but it is. Why? You know, and I don't care. I don't care that they're white or, or what race. I just wanna know why. Is there not one black writer in the world that could have done the job? I don't know. I'm just asking the questions. You answer that. I don't know if there's black writers that can compete with the white writers. Because obviously, these white writers took the job that I thought would go to a black writer. I mean, that's just me. Maybe I don't know how Hollywood works. But yeah, I mean, look it up. Their names are Jonathan Herman and Andrea Berloff in a um, story by S. Slave, Savage, uh, whatever, you look it up because I just, I'm just asking the questions of like why today in, in America are the white writers still benefiting from black stories, Latino stories, when there's so many artists out there that are starving, hungry, looking for an opportunity. And why are they taking the one of the probably the, one of the blackest stories? You know what I mean? Like, like you're talking about N.W.A. You're talking about like the struggle, a recent struggle that we, we're still living with police killing people. I mean, it's crazy. I, I'm not gonna get into it. I just wanted to raise the question: Why? Why? Why them? What? What interest do they have in telling the N.W.A. story? Like, why? Like, out of out of a a billion unlimited stories why nwa you know i just gonna put it out there i'm not judging it's not about race but it is about race so you be the judge and maybe someone can answer me i don't know hopefully they will answer at some point because if you put their names up all you're gonna see are the nwa posters because they're not making it public like that that these are the writers that that wrote this film i don't know why by the way, there are no movie theaters in Compton, which is the irony that's like, okay, you have a movie about your city, but you don't even have a, a movie a movie theater, even though you have 100,000 people that live there. Yo, I'm getting upset now. I'm going to go. But just, you guys tell me why. Why?